Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ here with my brother Jeremy. What's good? Bring you another superhero spotlight. This time we're going to be talking about Marvel stuffs. So let's get started with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. because that's our only TV show that we really need to talk about because uh, at the end of the month, Luke Cage is going to show. Oh, it's this month. So, oh, dude, I totally forgot. You will see that review after Daredevil. Yes. So that we'll probably see Luke Cage next year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we will review them. Don't worry. Daredevil Season 3 is not going to come out for a little while. Yeah. Um, and neither is Jessica Jones Season Dude, 2. Dude, we've been slacking on the movie side. Movie it's and TV side. It's very hard in the summer to just stay consistent because you yeah. just have a lot of other things to do. But Jeremy's been trucking, editing a lot of things that have been left unedited. Yeah. Reviews that we haven't put up, like Deadpool, Batman v Superman. I kind of feel bad that we put out Captain America Civil War, but that's the ending of a trilogy so i guess that had priority over boring. everything yeah but you will see they will see the light of day at some point yes. so agents of shield got our first glimpse of ghost rider he looks awesome and i think that's all i could say about him very close to the comic book reference except they could change out the jeans the jeans are a little weird to me yeah and the the symbol on his body looks like uh like duke, tape duke a tape <laughs> duke a tape it looks like duct tape a little yeah. bit but to, it looks awesome the picture but hopefully it doesn't look cheesy on the show hopefully whatever they made from the cap movie and everything this year yeah. mcu related goes into the budget of making him look pretty cool yes and we have another new character named lucy who is supposed to be like some crazy person so we don't know if she's in a human yet but we'll find out mm. and i'm really excited to see ida because if you guys haven't seen a tv show called baby daddy she's a character on there named georgie is played by mallory jensen who's playing ida ah so that's gonna be pretty interesting okay so we already talked about the new director of shield who's gonna be played by jason omara the one thing to add though is that he saw a little bit of season three he said yeah. And he didn't even read the script. He just took the role. Nice. Because he just said, like, I'm just going to wing it. So basically, his character is Rosalind. But, like, he, he's no nonsense or anything like that. So I think mm. he might be butting heads with everybody. Because he said that on set, for his character, he's a new guy. He's there. And everybody has to deal with it. But he said, like, as an actor, it was really awkward because everybody around him has been doing it for, like, four years. Yeah. And he's just a newbie. Yeah. And trying to tell them what to do. Exactly. Basically. So he's like, uh, this is a little weird to kind of like tell Phil Coulson that you need to do this, even though you've been doing it way longer. I'd be weirded out too if I was, if I took that role, I'd be freaked out. <laughs> that would be, yeah, especially Coulson, I'd be like, hell Coulson. Yeah. Hell Coulson. <laughs> I'd be freaking out <laughs> just because I'd be working with them and I'd be weirded out. Yeah. Because Cause like that's no. a family and you're just intruding. Yeah. Out of nowhere. Yeah. But we'll see. Like we had mentioned before, like there's a little bit of a disconnect between the TV and the movie. But hopefully, once you start talking about like the movie stuff, uh, we'll kind of like tie it in together, just like we did last time. All right. There's gonna be a, a actress named. Oh, sorry if I butchered the name. Parminder Nagra is another person who it, it, she doesn't have a name yet, but she is against the humans. Mm. Another okay. one of those people. So it's going to be interesting to see how that character plays out. Does mm. she have powers or no? I do, it, she's she a government official. Oh, she she has like a mm, team. Maybe might have power. It's, you know how like one of those characters maybe they have oh, an okay. agenda. Yeah, and I think that's pretty much it because we don't have much as far as the TV side goes because Defenders is not going to premiere until next year mm -hmm. and we only have luke cage and then iron fist after and then it goes into that so hopefully they're setting up to go to the movie side with these characters and hopefully they, they make it all come together because that's what we want to confirm spider-man black panther and ant-man and the wasp those three films yeah are set after the events of civil war oh okay so there is a good chance we actually might see cap in those films very nice. Since he is no longer Captain America, which we'll, I'll just expand upon for a little bit uh, when I get the time to at the end of this. Shocker was seen on set of Spider-Man Homecoming. Homecoming? Homecoming. Homecoming. And he looks pretty good. Looks pretty cool. Nice. Not sure which actor's playing him yet, but it's a toss-up between Logan, Logan Marshall Green or Bokeem... Oh, what's his last name? His last name is really hard to say. But yes, Bo Keep. And Happy Hogan is coming back in that movie, too. Who's that again? He's Tony Stark's uh, security guard. Oh, happy. Oh, okay. Sorry, John Favreau. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, he's going to reprise the role. Nice. So I'm not sure if Pepper is going to be showing up, but that would be really awkward. Like, Pepper shows up with Happy. <laughs> it's just like he's with Peters. Imagine that, yo. Yeah. Peters just like, ah, oh, now you can go, Tony. <laughs> 
You're not my uncle. I guess that's really all like the movie news. Yeah. Uh, and MCU news that we have as of now. What I wanted to elaborate on that we mentioned before, we've recorded a lot of videos over the last couple weeks, so I'm not even really sure which one it was included in. But what Captain America is going to be moving forward, or Steve Rogers, let's say. We had talked about him becoming Commander Rogers and leading the Secret Avengers, mm -hmm. or he adopted the name Nomad. Yes. What other ideas do you have for him? Where could you see Steve Rogers from here on out since he is no longer Captain America's Infinity Wars comes along? I seriously don't know. I don't An know. Educated jet. A, edu edu educated jet. Educated jet. An educated guest. I'm going to TV. See, yeah. Wouldn't it be cool to see him kind of like go behind the scenes and like recruit other members? Oh, that's what you're thinking? You're thinking him to go on TV? Yeah. What? No, I'm, I'm agreeing with yeah, you. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying. saying. Yeah. What? What if he shows up on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., helps the team kind of sort of like get back together and maybe recruit Daisy for the big war? Maybe Thor tells him something's going on. Or he goes into Daredevil and he kind of sees the heroes for hire. So he just, just pops like, pops in mm -hmm. into each show. He's the real S.H.I.E.L.D. Ah. He reforms the re either the real S.H.I.E.L.D. or he gains more people for the Secret Avengers. Ooh. So all you guys, Team Iron Man, do you feel like you chose the right side there? Because really, at the end, Tony is left with War Machine, Rhodey, and kind of Vision. Because Vision's torn between doing the right thing and being with Wanda, and yeah. Wanda is on Cap's side. Because mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Cap's going to take care of her. You know, they're wanted. Yeah. Scott Lang, all, all of them. So they have to operate under the radar. Yeah. For the most part. So it'd be really interesting. And we know the Russos, they, they do such a good job of, like, kind of making a story off of just like one very different idea and then just taking out pieces from the comics and then putting it onto the screen without it straight up taking the story and then just translating it very true you know because yeah. they knew that it going in with civil war they knew that they couldn't straight up make that comic book adaption because they haven't introduced that many heroes mm -hmm. so in Infinity Wars, I'm pretty sure it'll be a lot closer than it was in the comics, but I like how there's the divide now between the Avengers. Cap's no longer Cap, and everybody's just all over the place, so what's going to bring them together? Obviously, Thanos, and we got the Guardians who are all confirmed to appear. Yeah. So we're going to get Captain America, Star-Lord, Thor, everybody. Yes. Is gonna be. And Hawkeye lied to his wife. He said that that was the last mission in Age of <laughs> Ultron showed up in civil war and then he showed up in or he's gonna show up in infinity wars nice and tom hiddleston signed on for both parts of, or not both parts but both of those movies uh, okay so yeah it would be really cool to see cap like take the samuel jackson route and like kind of offer some continuity between everything because you know he is on the radar and that'd be so like symbolic too since he dropped his own shield mm -hmm. The, the whole company of S.H.I.E.L.D. is his S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, exactly. So he drops one thing to reform something else. Yeah. That would be awesome. He's like, I have no S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> this is my S.H.I.E.L.D. Dude, that would be... You just see the whole team behind him. That scene, what we want to wait for is Agent Coulson giving Cap his holographic S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. Or Black Panther giving him a new one. Yes. And just like respraying it so that it's like his own. <laughs> just spray painting. <it. laughs> <laughs> That's what he did with the the stealth shield in uh, uh, Winter Soldier. It was blue okay. instead and black. That would be so sick. Except he draws a panther on it. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be really cool since it's set after Civil War. Black Panther for him to show up. Actually, not just Black Panther, but for him to show up in Spider Man first. Yeah. And then black panther like maybe just like help him out or guide them both there's a lot of things maybe that's what they meant he was his contract's about to end with him being captain america but that doesn't mean it ends with him being steve rogers he's still steve rogers it just it's kind of up in the air as to what he's gonna do moving forward now because he's still got the super serum like he's still a superhero yeah. with just you know what's gonna happen and what happens to captain america mantle there's a blu-ray scene a deleted one in the uh, it's all over instagram a, a scene of the fight at the airport in Civil War where War Machine is chasing Cap and he throws his shield or he trips, right? And Bucky throws the shield and then Sam catches it 
So it's like symbolic as like all three of them have been Captain America in the comics before. Yeah. And then they all held the shield in this. I don't know why they cut that. Yeah, they did. I'm pretty sure they didn't want to reveal that. That would have been People awesome. Would, it'd be so controversial. They'd be like, wanna, oh no, he's going to die. I think they want to save it for something like this where there's not many people talking about it. Yeah. So. Oh no, we stirred up the what, what if, can there be two Captain Americas at the same time is my question. I don't see why not. I think we did like touch on that He's really like, quick. Bucky's like, I'm Captain America. Yeah. And then Sam's just like, no, I'm Captain America. <laughs> I got wings. Like <laughs> Falcon is like Falcon Captain America. Amer- Falcon America. <laughs> and Bucky, Bucky is, America. he takes up the, the mantle as Captain to redeem himself while Falcon is there to kind of reinforce it. Yeah, because Falcon is not a bad per or like he's not known for being a bad person. He's just known for helping Cap. Yeah. Right. So yeah, they could both just that would be really funny too. It's just like you no, know, he's like I'm wearing I'm wearing those clothes today. Yeah, and they, you yeah. wear your normal clothes. Today. I'm gonna wear it today, man. <laughs> I get the shield too, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that'd be awesome. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, yeah. He's Perfect like, way to add comic like, relief. If you get the shield, I get your wings. Oh, yeah, take my no. wings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds so racist. Uh, I think about it. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, but it's yes. a good way to distinguish the character. Where, <laughs> where do you guys see Steve Rogers moving forward? Where would you like to see him? How would you, in your perfect MCU world, meld everybody together? I would see him do exactly what you said. Go Secret to- Avengers, either no matter Commander Rogers, he lets Bucky take up the mantle of Captain America, as yeah. well as Falcon, just yes. to be nice because he's two best friends yes. agent 13 helps cap with missions because yes. she goes under the grid too yes. and tony's just like a poster boy for himself exactly you know and then like as a, a, cap just like goes like everywhere and helps like other or and recruits other avengers yeah so who won in the end there captain america the the boy scout and i think that's pretty much it that i could think of so far think so uh, we love to read your comments so go leave them down below and be sure to leave a like as well and yeah we'll see you guys in the next video yeah bye, bye. Hey,